Okay, so first of all, um, uh, I'm going to show you guys, you know, some of the tools you're going to need, um, everything that kind of comes with it, and um, how it works. Okay, so uh, first of all, you're going to want to grab a um, 12 millimeter um, wrench, a 7 sixteenths, and a 3 eighths. You're going to want to grab a number three Imperial T-Tool and a 532nd um, T-Tool. Uh, also, you should have gotten a bag uh, like so um, with all the tooling in it. Let's just go ahead and get that situated. And I'll go ahead and um, grab an upper as well. And get everything else here, just bear with me. And we're going to start with an AR-15. Uh, the process is going to be the same from model to model um, and you're going to want the adapter you're going to want the buffer tube adapter which bear with me A buffer tube adapter. Um, this is for the AR-15 again. And uh, then just make sure that you have the spreadsheet pulled up. Uh, so let's jump into it. Uh, first of all, you're going to grab the bag with, um, let me find it. You're going to grab number three. It should have two dowel pins in it. These are 3 16 by 5 16 dowel pins. They're going to go in the bottom of the left upright. Now, the left upright is the one with the flat bottom, not the one with the bottom with the half circles bored through it. So we'll grab that. Now, if you take a look at the base plate, you'll notice that there's two holes in the front and two holes in the back. You're going to insert it into those two holes. Um, it should be the front two holes, as you can see, right there and right there. You're going to flip it upside down. And you're going to grab the uh, bag number four, which is going to be the 1024 by half um, socket head cap screws. Those will thread in through the bottom. Grab the 532nd wrench and screw it in okay so that's set up uh, now for all intensive purpose purposes you're going to have a bag with a t-tool in it as well or a t-nut excuse me that will just go right there on the bottom of the base plate okay you'll flip it over and grab the right upright, try to line it up, and then you're gonna grab number um, 13, which is a uh, 1024 by two and three quarter socket head cap screw. You'll drop that down in through the top of the right upright, and line it up the best you can with the T-tool, or the T-slot, excuse me. Now, don't tighten it all the way. You just want to get it a little snug in there to make sure it's threaded in. And 
you want to still be able to move it back and forth, just like that. Then grab your lower receiver that you're going to mill. Um, you're going to thread the buffer tube adapter on. Then grab the indexer plate, which will look like this. Excuse me, mine's dirty because I've been using it. You're going to grab the number five bag, which is the 3 16th by 5 16th dowel. Then you're going to align the dowel pin and the um, indexer plate and there should be a hole on the back of the buffer tube adapter make sure that's tight okay then you're gonna grab the let me find the bag You're going to grab the hex screw. Um, this is a uh, quarter 20 by, sorry, let me just verify. by 1.39 um, and that's going to be number let's say number number seven excuse me that's going to thread through on the first hole, as you can see, and then you'll line up the buffer tube adapter, or the, the indexer plate to where it, it sits there. Uh, excuse me, before you do that, grab your, your takedown pin adapter. You're going to line that up the best you can there. And then you're gonna grab six, seven, and eight. Um, and you're going to, or excuse me, you're gonna grab 14, 15, 16. You're going to thread that through just like that, as you can see. You're going to grab the washer. And place it over the top. You're going to grab the nut. Screw that down. Try to get it lined up a bit. You don't have to tighten it until it's on the fixture. Then put on the uh, indexer plate. Boom, just like that. Put the indexer plate side in the front hole. Then loosely thread the, the hex screw through that side. And then you're gonna line the buffer tube side up with the back or the second hole and make sure it's it's straight just like that and once it's straight you're going to want to tighten it down through the right upright 
You're also going to grab the half inch hex and thread it through on that side. Again, it's in the second hole position. Tighten it. Doesn't need to be extremely tight, just snug. Same with this side. Again, just snug. And that's secured in place. Um, and then I would just tighten the takedown nut snug as well. Doesn't need to be tight, but there, there you have it. It's in there, good to go. Um, then we'll jump over to the Ghost Gunner and show you how to install it, how to probe, and how to run the code.